Hey, Jim with Cuff and Stuff. Well, we're gonna play with a new toy again. We've had an addition to it. We put a Lone Star Grills fire management basket down in the bottom. We're gonna do beef back ribs in this thing and we're gonna see how it turns out. So stick with us. This is gonna be a good one. Hang tight. Okay, well, I've got about six pounds of beef back ribs that I got the butcher to cut for me. And you can see, um, I said, leave some meat, <laughs> and he did. Um, now, they were some smaller ones. I got him to do two different kinds, but they're cut into bones. So, what I'm gonna do is, this being beef, I'm gonna sprinkle a little Leah Perrins over the top. Now, these have a little bit of fat on them, and that's okay. Render down. <laughs> Look at that meat. Oh my goodness. I already know. This is gonna be brisket on a stick. Mm. Well, okay. So this is competition cow powder. Uncle Steve shake, of course. Um, you don't see me use much else. When you find something that works for you, why change? I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So let's get a good coating on these. Now, beef ribs have a membrane, sort of like pork ribs, but not quite. But you won't see most folks pulling that membrane off, and there's a reason, it holds it together. Now, when you um, have the racks together, it keeps those racks lined up. I don't have that problem because I got him to go ahead and cut these and that's okay um, because these are going to cook probably a little quicker but with beef low and slow when it comes to ribs like this because we want them tender so all right that is the first layer. You know I'm gonna add a second. This is also Uncle Steve's, of course, South Texas Red. Um, I don't know, I just can't help but put a nice covering of South Texas Red on most of what I do. All right, I'm gonna let this hang out for a little while. Now, it's cold out here. Um, it's in the 30s, but it's in the mid to upper 30s. So they're not gonna freeze, but this will still sweat a little bit before I put it in and let those flavors soak in and out. So let me go get the fire ready and I'll bring you back. Okay, well, here we go. We've got this, and this is mm, two thirds of this chimney. And you see, I'm using the Lone Star fire management basket. Now well, let's look down here and find us a couple of decent sized splits put on this fire here. Okay, well, it hadn't been five minutes and these have caught up into a nice flame. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can start my draw by closing it up. I got the vents in the front open. I'm gonna close her up and see if we can't get this cook underway. And when it's time to put the meat on, I'll bring you back. All right, well, we're almost at 250, 225, 225. I'm putting them on the middle rack here. And there we go. Now I'm gonna take this pan, I'm gonna put this pan under it just to kind of help keep the smoker clean. Really, I hope that it's not gonna make a big difference in temperature and height cooks, but you never know, you try, right? So as we progress, as things change, I'll bring you back. Okay, well, an hour in. All you've missed in an hour is me put a couple of sticks in there and I just did that. So while the temperature is down, I've got a little bit of vinegar here that I'm gonna hit this with. And there we go. So you really hadn't missed a thing. <laughs> We're gonna keep plugging. I'll bring you back. All right, well, we are three and a half hours in on this cook. And let's see here. Well, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put these in pan. I'm gonna turn the meat side down. And they are hot. Now, at this point, a lot of people will pour apple cider vinegar. There's a lot of things that they will use on these ribs. Me, huh, I'm gonna use a beer. So let's pour a little bit of beer down in the bottom of this pan. That's a little bit, that's the whole beer, right? All right. So, I have put all of this in this foil pan and wrapped him up tight. And we're gonna put him right back in the smoker. Now, this has definitely in three and a half hours absorbed all the smoke it's going to. Huh. Okay. So, I'm gonna take this pan out. I don't need it anymore. And we'll see with our heat, how that does. So the next step, we'll bring you back. We've taken it out. We've let this braise, oh yeah, look at the steam. About an hour in this beer. Now, I'm not really going for temperature. I'm going for, oh yes. I'm going for tenderness. This is like sticking in butter. <laughs> All right. All right, got one more thing I want to do. And I'll bring you right back and show you what that is. I'm gonna 
take these out. Oh, isn't that pretty? And I'm going to brush. This is just a little red wine vinegar. It's a little beef trick that I have been fond of for years. laid out. I'm just barely glazing over the top of them. Just put a little shiny on top. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These are gonna be some kind of good. I'm telling you what I know. more okay well the fruits of our labor I'm going in on this bite mm. look at that mm. man that's good I'm sorry Perfect, perfect. Let me tell you, that Uncle Steve shake, it's hard to beat. The smoker did a good job. I like the Lone Star fire management basket. It did a good job. It funnels everything to the center. I believe it's gonna work. I wanna try it a few more times before I put final judgment on it, but so far, I like it. Hey, listen, I appreciate you sticking around, seeing how this turns out. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the circle on this side. I'll have another video for you over here. Until next time, hang tight.